Today we are at Disney Springs on this perfect Florida day. We got a lot of fun things planned. What are we going to do? Um, there's a grilled cheese donut at the new donut place. I'm excited for that one. What else? M&M &M store we haven't been to yet. A few new Lego pieces over at the Lego store. And just walk around and see what else they got. So let's go check it out. It's currently Saturday today and it's gonna be 87 degrees. So we were kind of wondering what the crowd level would be like, but Volcano Bay opened and probably everybody's at the parks right now. So honestly, at noon at Disney Springs doesn't appear to be too busy. Walking past Planet Hollywood, we're gonna stop in Disney style up here because they usually have some pretty good stuff in there. Heading into Disney style. Look at all these old newspaper looking items. They have these cool shirts. Look at this one. $36.99. The sweater to match it. Wouldn't be wearing this today, but got some kind of heavy jacket for $70. Then once we leave that store, we're greeted with the Starbucks over here. Gonna see if they've got your drink. They've got a Florida mug in here, an Orlando one. This is kind of what it looks like here. You can see that. Not sure what the price is though. Oh, $13. That's not bad at all. They've got a new pot of gold St. Patrick's Day special that I might try. So she made an audible at the line of scrimmage. Normally she gets the Irish cream cold brew and it's usually just a winter thing. So she's been trying to get it everywhere she can. But when we got up there, she thought that pot of gold looked good too. Who doesn't like pot of gold? Here's what it looks like. Mm. What is it again? It's, it's a... Um, vanilla bean frappuccino with Irish cream in it and obviously caramel. So I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. We're gonna give it a try. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a little bit of caramel up there. Oh, mm -hmm. it's good, isn't it? It's very sweet, yes. but it's very, very good, especially on this warm day. So definitely worth getting. Just down the road from the Starbucks, um, take a left at Splitsville right here. That's where you'll find Everglades. Now to the right is the M&M store, so it looks like we're gonna be over here for the next couple of places. Here's Splitsville. There's the M&M store. And over here is Everglades. Now am I really wanting to fill up on heavy sweet stuff right now? No, but anytime there's gonna be a grilled cheese donut, I'm for sure gonna get it. It looks like there's a little wait to get in, but it shouldn't really take too long, I wouldn't think. Look at this little mini donut truck. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but look at those donut bites. Huge donuts. So we're almost to the entrance now, and it's only taken about three or so minutes. Not bad at all. Okay, we made it inside. Here's their menu. Also over here is the grilled cheese. And you can substitute a griddled glazed donut for just a dollar, which we're gonna do. Here's a view of all their donuts back there. Right back there in that little silver thing is where they're making my grilled cheese. I saw it. I'm gonna try to talk over the music in the back, but here it is. Pretty large. The donut grilled cheese is extremely warm, so I'm gonna have to cut it and use it with a fork, and it's messy. Okay, that is super good. You have to try it. I love it. Okay, so here's the deal. It was very good. She even admitted it was good too, but on a hot Florida day, after drinking Starbucks, probably not smart to get also a sweetened tea. 
couldn't finish it all and I probably need to find the nearest Walgreens to get a toothbrush and brush all the sugar off my teeth. Here is the M&M store. It looks like there's just a smidgel of a line to get in. Not actually too bad. Right here they got a little selfie spot you can take. Here's a line over here. So it looks like we'll hop in here and just wait in line until it's our time to go in. Wow, automatically you're greeted with the smell of chocolate, which is awesome. Didn't take us but maybe five minutes to get in. Over here, they've got every color with their own little attitude. And we're trying to decide who's who. Let me see. Well, I think mine would either be, let's see. I'm probably more I'm of a, a, I'm a uh, I think I'm gonna be a blue, wake up, be awesome, repeat. Don't trip over my awesome, it's everywhere. I mean, if you look everywhere, there's here's my awesome. So, what are you? I'm orange. Please don't make me do stuff, yep. I'm brown. I'm sorry, I'm late, I didn't want to come, yep. My brain has too many tabs open. Yeah, I see all of those, all those tabs right there. Over here, they have a picture off in front of this M&M wall. And over here, this is a, what is this? You can a stack? buy the stacks and you put them up so you get like an assortment. Oh, so you can get several of them. Those are cool. Oh, look, it has the M on top. Or is it an E? Some ornaments. $7.95. Hey, be awesome and keep being awesome. I'm not gonna trip over your awesomeness. Over here is like the children's section. Ooh, look at the pin set. Here is their huge M&M wall. Holy cow. One mission she was on was to find the coffee nut flavor, which when you're over here, we're not gonna do this today, but you can read all of the flavors. And over here where the flavors are, there's a coffee nut flavor. In fact, it's like this one right here. And don't really wanna spend $16 on a pound of chocolate after all we ate already. And don't want it to melt outside. When you're looking, and they have a small, yeah, Some of the small $10. flavor. That's ten dollars still. Yeah. We're gonna hold off for now, but there's other videos out there that'll show you all the flavors you could ever imagine out here. I know over here there's like cheesecake and some caramel skittles. <laughs> Random. There's like peanut M&Ms there, and then there's your milk chocolate. And then over here is where you can design your own. They, when COVID's over, you can actually go get your picture taken, come over here and put it on an M&M, but that screen, you can go up and upload a picture and choose from several designs. And then back over there, they will print them for you. There is a line to get it done right now, so we're not gonna do that today either. You can also get your personalized M&Ms in any of these containers on the wall there. And here's just a closer look of that. There's the line. Go in here, you can upload your own picture or pick from some of their different icons they have. And then this is where you pick up your personalized M&Ms. Showing you some of them right up there. So you can get your face on them. Then over here with this big giant M is where you're gonna end up paying. I know they've got Gideon's Bakehouse up here. We're not gonna go in there. We're pretty much sweeted out, if you will. No more sweets today. Um, I think we're gonna have lunch at Blaze Fast Fire Pizza with water and a salad. But for now, we're gonna keep walking this way. But we will walk by Gideon's 
we just won't go in. And plus there's probably a wait to get in anyway. Walking over the bridge, passing Maria and Enzo's. It doesn't look like the balloon's going up right now, but just on up here around the corner should be Gideon's Bakehouse. Here we are, here is Gideon's Bakehouse. Just gonna do a little lap around it. Definitely, you can smell it from here. That's, that's true. Gideon's Bakehouse. I'm sure, oh, it's not too bad of a wait though. Look at that, there it is. No way, no way can I do that right now. Return here for virtual queue. Yeah, these are all people that had a return time and are now waiting to go in. So even if we wanted to go in, we wouldn't be going in. <laughs> we wouldn't be going in today, look at that, virtual queue. Over here, it looks like people are waiting to get their name on the virtual queue. So not only is there a wait to get inside from the virtual queue, there's a wait to get on the virtual queue. Love how their water looks down here. Something else we're gonna try today is try to get in World of Disney. I'm sure there's a pretty big wait for that one. And then I wanna go into the Lego store because I know they have the one of the resorts built out of Legos and I wanna check that out as well. Of course, we gotta stop at Uniqlo. What kind of trip to Disney Springs would it be without going in there? That's gonna be our next stop. The main reason we come in here is to look at the Disney shirts, although she could shop all day, so she likes all of the other clothes, but we always have to come in here and take a peek at the Disney shirts. Looks like they've got some new designs out. Oh, yep, you have that shirt. I like that one too. My mom would like that shirt. Oh, that's a cool one. Here's some more. These ones are $19.90. Here's the line for the Lego store. Since we're not gonna buy anything, I don't know if we're gonna wait in line to go in just to see the, I think it's the Riviera that they built out of Legos. But up here, very sad day because I loved the Buzz and Woody Lego statue out here and they've replaced it. It had to be way old, but they do have this one that looks very nice out in front, very fresh. Those other blocks were We're so so stale and stuff. Of course, they've had these for a little, little bit, but still new. Makes it nice. All uniform, all new. Um, Lego statues. And of course, the Star Wars one. Here. Looks like they've got some uh, stage music this evening. And we're gonna go up and see how long of a wait world of Disney is because if it's too long we're not gonna worry about it right now but it's just 10 or 15 minutes or so we'll stand there and wait looks like Stitch isn't doing anything today so oh never mind we almost just right I spoke too soon I called him out and he retaliated oh only 15 minute wait I think we'll go ahead and wait it out because at nighttime it's gonna be a lot more. It's actually not that bad. I mean, everybody's walking at a pretty steady pace right now. It's 2.02, so we should be in by around 2.17. Look at this cool little Mickey topiary with the water. It's only 2.07, so that took five minutes. Hi, thank you. See what kind of new stuff they have in here. First stop is this puzzle section. I don't ever really remember them having just a full puzzle section, but they've got some pretty nice ones here. Got the Haunted Mansion one here. Look at this one, it's got all the parks on it. Shape of a Mickey. Another Haunted Mansion one. What's the price on these? $24.99.
Looks like they added the whole dog section and cat section. Those are cool. There's this one. This is cool. What? It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> this is neat. Yeah. Look at this dog bowl and it's got Nana on it. There's Nana. We have a Nana. $20. So for those that don't know, we have a St. Bernard named Nana. So anytime we come in here, we try to look for a Nana. It's Nana on there too. She needs to wear. Do they have like an extra large? Yeah, oh, they do. Oh, there's this raincoat that is $54.99. We have Nana there. Over here, they have their own little Starbucks stand, and it's got each of the parks. So here's Animal Kingdom. What's this one? Epcot. Uh, Magic Kingdom. And these are twenty four ninety nine. Is there any Hollywood? No, nope, looks like they left Hollywood out. Look, it's only got three of them there. No Hollywood. We're gonna keep heading down this way now. Probably go in the co op. Going into the co-op, it looks like there's not a wait right now, so that'll be, I'll be good. Got some Tiana stuff here. Got a dog bandana. I wonder if, yep, Nana's on that one. That's something we could put around Nana. Yeah. I like their polos they got here. Some more masks you can choose from. Look at this nice Nike jacket for $105. Looking at some of the Dooney and Burke. There's a Nana right there. There's a Nana For $298. And a Nana right there. Man, they're finally showing attention to Nana. Poor Nana. <laughs> so over here they have all of these Disney scents. Like burning is what you smell at Pirates. Um, if you just go down the list, let's see, down here he said fresh grass was the uh, elephant scene on Soren. All of these flavors represent a Disney scent. What's this one? Oh, that smells exactly like a pirate scene. That's, that's nice. Pin trading place is where we can find the all the magic bands. I also want to start looking at sets because we want to start pin trading very soon. So I want to look at some of those sets. I also want to see what all magic bands they've got here. Oh, the sparkling one? Anything come off of there? No. It actually feels rough though. I thought it'd be... But it's like, nothing's going to come off. Right. Here's the dog. Oh, there's Nana. Oh, that one's so cool. That one's really cool. How much is that one? Well, it's an amethyst, so... Where are you at? That one is going to be... Thirty dollars. They've got this Dooney and Burke magic band back here. Let's see if maybe we can take a peek of it. What's it got on it there? Oh wow! So it's got kind of like the Fourth of July theme. That's why it's going last summer. Cool. And what's the price on that? Forty-one dollars. Forty-one dollars. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Here are some of the pin trading starter sets. I don't know. Just past Earl of Sandwich, in between that and the days of Christmas, you'll find the Spice and Tea Exchange, which is a favorite to go in. So we're gonna go in there. Starting off with the candles in here. Mmm, that smells good. $30 for the kids. What's that one? Oh, what is that one? That smells delicious. We've gotten tea from the tea bar before and it is so good. Over here they have all their sugars, peppers, salts, 
spices, fine teas, custom blends, candles. Now our plan is to go to Blaze and get some pizza. Probably, oh, they are doing the cars. I didn't know they had those back. Almost made it to Blaze, but sometime we're gonna go to Homecoming. Everybody says it's good. One of these days. Doesn't look like there's that long of a wait to get into Blaze Pizza. So, we're gonna go stand in line. Here's the menu. Order here, they make it, then you come down here and you pay and then you pick it up. Looking closer at the menu, the take two is only Monday through Friday till 4 p.m. Wah, wah. Looks like we'll just be getting the veg out pizza and no other side. All right, here is our pizza. The broccoli on this is so good, isn't it? That pizza is always so good. Um, and we got extra to take home, so you can always share one. But now I think I'm gonna go see how long of a wait it is to get into the Lego store. Here's what the line looks like. It looks like it's a little longer than last time, but I think we will still wait it out because I can't imagine it taking too terribly long. Wow, over here we have the Star Destroyer, $700. Over here we have the big Hulk. Okay, that was my mistake. I read it was at Disney Springs, so I assumed it was in the Lego store, but it says that the Riviera Resort Lego is over at the Disney Vacation Club kiosk. So we're gonna head over there and see if it is. Here's the Disney Vacation Club kiosk. And right over here is the Lego set. Hello. Wow. I've got the gondola here. Mickey and Minnie up there. Wow, that's really cool. What trip to Disney would be complete without a Mickey pretzel and some music? Johnny, and it might be sick. 
Okay, that was really good music. They're called Mighty Swell, and they're down here about every 30, they play about every 30 minutes, is that right? Like five, maybe every hour, 5.15, 6.15, 7.15, 8.15, but super good. If you're passing by around that time, stop and take a listen. They did country music this time with some little fun other scores. All right, that was our trip down to Disney Springs. We had a really good time. We got to eat some junk food, one of your favorites. We got to, we got to go to the Lego store and we got to go to the new M&M store. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and also leave a comment and let us know what your favorite thing to do is at Disney Springs. But overall, it was a great day. Another good day here in Florida. And that does it for today. Thanks for watching.